In about 1992, I had started getting curious about some of my favorite compressors like the LA-2A, the Gain Brain 1, 1176, and they weren't being made at the time and very hard to get a hold of. So being curious, I started experimenting with little circuits and stuff. And eventually I had a little box sitting in the studio that over a short period of time, it got very usable. And I was looking for a name and basically uh, because of the distortion, and it's a compressor. I combined the two words, and that was basically the genesis of what became the distressor. We've been very, very lucky with the distressor. It's been used on, obviously, thousands of records. During the period I was developing the distressor, the early to mid-90s, the grunge era was in full effect. Uh, it was a time of very analog, super distorted, large crunched sounds, splashy drums. Of course, that affected what I was working on because I wanted to be able to bring some of that current palette of colors into the design. We really tried to get a Swiss Army knife going from extremely clean to super colored and almost a whole new sound. So uh, we started coming up with the Nuke, the 20 to 1, pretty radical ratios. I'd say, well, I need something really crunchy to smash the small room and make it sound bigger. One of the hardest things to recreate or even come close to in many plugins has been opto. And I think this is one area uh, that the UA distressor really came out stellar. I think it might be one of the first opto plugins that is hardware quality. I feel very proud that UA was able to get their emulation to the level it is. It's probably indistinguishable from the hardware. It's amazing. You can put on 20 dB of vocal compression, which normally you hear all kinds of spits and, and nasty artifacts. None of that. It brings the warmth and the tone up into your face without disappearing and pumping. It's really got all the dark colors, but also the clarity and the top end that you need for the final fixings. For clean guitars with a very, very fast attack, you can bring this really creamy, warm sound right up into your face because you get rid of the transients and fold them back into this warm, purpley sound at the bottom that you radically push up in the mix and all of a sudden it's no longer jumping out at you. You can basically go from pristine to crazy dirty without getting nasty artifacts and UA captured all those extremes. So UA's done an amazing job of capturing all the little hairy edges, the growls, the distortion, the fast attacks, the in-your-face sound, and we're happy to be able to offer it to everybody out there. We've really dug down deep. This is the fastest and most authentic emulation of the Distressor out there. The UA Distressor will stand the test of time as a definitive Distressor emulation.